The ancient typology was continued and remains to be interpreted, take it literally at any stage, and you must be all wrong, as are those esoteric Buddhists who have mistaken an ancient mode of expression for a reality and continued it into the future of the human soul and applied it to the development of the human race, in doing which they are but wandering in a mental wilderness that is dark overhead with the shadows of the past. The beetle was a type of our sixth soul, an emblem of transformation, and some of the primitive races held that a certain low class of spirits turn into beetles after death. The crocodile, whose Egyptian name is Sevek, or Seventh, was a type of intelligence, as Seventh Soul, the supreme one of seven, because, so Plutarch says, he could see in the water when its eyelids were closed over the eyes. It was thus the seer unseen. In the Kafir languages, the crocodile and a spirit, i.e., a soul or the intelligence, have the same name. It is said to be believed by some of the inner Africans that when a child of theirs is born, the mother gives birth to a crocodile at the same time. Here the Egyptian symbolism, over which I have spent a third of my lifetime, will enable us to interpret the meaning.